Number 77. Copper 1 iodide, which is CUI, is often added to table salt as a dietary source of iodine. How many moles of copper 1 iodide are contained in 1.00 pounds, which is 454 grams, of table salt that's containing 0.01% copper iodide by mass? Okay. So, it seems like we have a percent mass question, right? We've been doing tons of these if you guys are on the playlist, right? But anytime that we see a percent or a percent mass, right, it's always part over whole. And the formula is this one. Now let me maybe make this a little bit bigger and I'll throw this one up here, right? But the whole idea is that there's something called a solute and something called a solution. Now if it is a part, or sorry, I just kind of gave you the answer, but <laughs> if it's a percent, right, percents are usually parts divided by wholes, right, or totals. So this idea of a solute is the part, right, of the, you know, whole solution that we're, you know, dealing with. Now, in this case, right, they're saying that copper one iodide is often added to the whole table salt. And we want to find out how many moles of the copper iodide, right, are contained in the entire 454 grams of table salt. So in this case, it looks like the solute is the little guy, which is the copper iodide, and that's being added to the table salt. So we can think of that as like, you know, the whole solution, right, the table salt. Now, let's see. These are both masses, so masses are usually in grams, and that's a good thing because they told us that we had 454 grams. Who cares about the one pound? It's equal to 454 grams of the table salt. So I know that this is going to be the 454. They gave me a percent, so that's this, right? Times 100 is standard. So what are we going to solve for? Oh, the, the mass of the solute, which is the copper 1 iodide. So let's give it a go. 0 0.01 equals something over something else times 100. We're solving for the copper iodide or the copper 1 iodide, so that's X. And then the solution mass, which we just said, was the 454. Okay. So I'll divide by 100 first to kind of cancel this out. So... That's a lot of zeros, 0 0.0001. I just want to make sure that I have, when it comes to all these zeros, you just kind of want to make sure that you have the right one. One, two, three, four. Yep, that's good, okay. So this equals X over 454. This is cross multiplication, right? So X equals, that times 454. So I get 0.0001. 0.454, and that was a mass, so that's grams, of the solute, which is the copper 1 iodide. But they asked for how many moles. So technically, I have to convert this amount of grams into moles of CUI. We've done tons of problems where we convert from grams to moles of the same compound. That's through the periodic table. So that's just like a conversion. So... Let's give it a go. 0 0.0454, and that's grams of copper 1 iodide, right? Whenever we're converting, we multiply by that ratio. We throw the unit that we don't want on the opposite side. So this way, in case it would be the bottom, and we put the unit that we want on the top, which is mole. And when we use the periodic table, remember, wherever the mole is, you have one mole. The mass that you find is going to be on the gram side of things. So I just have to add up what one copper and one iodine is. So 63.55 and then iodine is 126.9. I get 190.45. Cancel the unit that can cancel out. You're left with only the mole of copper iodine, which is, you know, what we wanted. And then all we got to do is division. 
So 0 0.0454 divided by that answer. And it looks like three sig figs here. So 2.38 times 10 to the negative fourth moles of copper one iodide. And that's it. There is your answer, guys. This one was a pretty quick one. Hopefully this helped, okay? But just know your percent mass formula and then just work through it, all right? I believe in you guys. You guys rock. And you've been studying hard, so I'm so proud of you. Let's keep up the awesome work, okay? Uh, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to. Like the video if it helped you out, just so that I know that I'm, I'm you know, doing my job right here. And as always, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.